بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today ان شاء الله we are going to complete our drawings okay today we are going to have the maxillary lateral incisor it follows the same steps as the maxillary central incisor with some differences okay the first the difference will be of course the size okay this will be reflected in our measurements as you have in your portfolio the first step to draw i'm is to make my cervical line okay or you can start from here from the incisor edge okay from this line mark a line all over then measure 36 millimeter this 36 is the crown lens you will find the measurement in the portfolio for the carving okay when you open the pages and the in the back of the portfolio you will find measurements for the measure for the carving so multiply these measurements by four to obtain these measurement okay so i will have 36 here 10 20 10 20 30 then count six small cubes this will be crown lens and make another line which is the cervical line after that i'm going to measure 52 millimeters 52 millimeters, how can I count them? Neglect this four, okay? Begin from here. 10, 20, 30, 40. This will be 50, okay? But here, 56, if I added, sorry, it's 54, if I added this four. So I need to reduce two millimeters here so that it will be totally 52, okay? Then mark another line for the root. Then, don't forget that in each aspect, I used to make my midline. This midline here, I will take my measurement, 10 mesially, 10 distally, okay? In the draw, in the carving, it will be about 2.5 millimeters. In all, the neck will be 5 millimeters. I will multiply by 4, it will be 20. 10 in the mesial half, 10 in the distal half. Then mark my point here and here. Go for the mesial distal dimension at the, the crown. It will be 13 and 13. Mark from the midline 10. 1, 2, 3. It will be 3 here. The same will be here. So I have four points. I should join these points. How can I join these points? In the mesial side, in the central incisor, I used to make it straight or slightly convex. Here in the lateral, it will be convex as you see like this. Okay, make a convex line, stop here. What about the distal? It will be more convex. Okay. Then my incisal edge also will be convex. So here the angle, if you remember in the mesial incisal angle was rounded this inside that angle was more rounded so if i begin with the convex line like this then make some roundation for this angle a more convex line if i continue here hmm, it will be i it will be affecting what the incisor edge so i need my incisor edge to be rounded so i have to raise slightly my contact area like this in the maximum curve here okay then go and make my cervical line convex towards the root. From these points, start drawing the root, tapering like this. Don't join the two lines here in the midline, no. It should be shifted towards the distal part. So make the apex in the distal side like this, about four millimeter from the midline. Then join the lines, make it tapered, means narrow, till it reaches the apex here, four millimeter toward the distal side, okay? So now I have a convex mesial, more convex distal and convex incisal edge with the rounded angles, one rounded, one more round. The same step here will be repeated again where in the other one the lingual side the lingual side i will do the same 10 10 13 13 as you see the mark 
okay join from here to here will be convex here will be more convex make the angle here around it with the incisal edge like this then go at the cervical third if i divided the crown into three thirds i will have a line here at 12 millimeter okay this 12 millimeter represents what represents my height of contour or the maximum convexity which is the level of my cingulum the elevation in the lingual aspect so i will make it here then go for the distal marginal ridge and mesial marginal ridge here take care they should be thicker than that of the incisor the maxillary incisor i told you to make it make the line parallel to the outer side but make it here thickness now i need it more thick i need a thicker marginal ridge why because the upper lateral i told you is more developed than the central so I make thick marginal ridges and even the incisor ridge. Totally, the ridges should follow the outline of the crown and follow the outline of the incisor ridge. Then in the rest here, it will be the fossa, which will be deeper than that of the maxillary incisor. Central, of course, okay? Then go here for the proximal side, the same. I will do the same. This line is the height of contour, right? Maximum convexity I have. I will complete this line to what? To the end of the page. Then take my measurements. I have here 10 and 10. <clears throat> this is the labial lingual dimension. Labial lingual dimension of the tooth. At the neck, it will be 10 and 10. At the crown, it will be 12 and 12. Okay, then from this point to that point, make it convex like this and complete the line convex till the midline. This is the labial side. Here again, convex for the cingulum, concave for the fossa, and make it slightly more concave like this because I have deep fossa. Then I have my incisal edge, which is well developed here. Well developed incisal edge will be reflected here as a thick incisal edge here. Okay. Beginning from these points, go upward to the midline. Make it tapered as you see like this, to reach pointed apex. So I have here pointed apex, here again pointed apex, but shifted toward the distal side. Here it is centralized, okay? Then make my cervical line curvature, which is the main point I can differentiate mesial from distal, which is more curved, the mesial of course, right? This mesial, how? many millimeters I'm going to join it to measure eight millimeters this is five then go one two three this I have eight millimeters put point and make a line convex not the like here towards the root no here it is convex incisally toward the incisal aspect okay then make here some depression on the root which I have developmental depression on the root side mesial side Okay, the same will be repeated in the distal, but make it opposite. And this is the labial side, so this is the lingual, right? Then this will be the lingual of this aspect, and this will be the labial here. So my labial outline, again the same measurement, 10. Then here at the line of height of contour, at 12 millimeter, as you see. I take here, from here, 10, 12 millimeter, here 12. You see, 10. 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. Okay, this is my measurements. <clears throat> Complete my drawing as a convex line here and here convex concave. And again, <clears throat> convex in the incisal aspect. From this part, I'm going to draw my root again, narrow, till the pointed apex in the midline. The difference mainly will be here in the cervical line, which will be shallower than this one. Its measurement will be five meter, five millimeter. From here I measure one, two, three, four, till I reach five. Put point and then make your cervical line here and there. What else? The depression here in the mesial not present on the distal side, okay? What about my incisor aspect? Incisor aspect I have again, if you remember, I told you the incisor, central incisor was 
triangle because it was as what labio my labio lingual dimension was smaller than the mesiodistal because the central was what my central incisor was wide tooth here what happened the lateral incisor has more developed elevations which mean here my cervical ridge will be bulging like this my cingulum will be bulging also like this right this will make the the outline of the lateral changes like this why because this area which are the elevations are more developed as you see i will find what here in the lateral incisor what will happen i will find that my labio lingual dimension is greater than the mesiodes <coughs> so i will measure again here a line in the midline then measure here about uh, 10 and 15 here the same 15 and here i make it less maybe even the same thickness 15 and 15 here 15 and 15 to have what shape it is rounded or oval rounded or oval not no more triangle as the central incisor no more why here i increase the elevation here increase the elevation in the single so now the labiolingual dimension is equal to the mesiodistal dimension they are equal to each other so the change is its shape to be like this i make midline here and midline here take the point equidistant 15 15 15 15 then make from this point a curved line labial surface then here i have this convexity as the marginal edges here i have my single and here the lingual convergence which means that the lingual side is smaller than the labial side how can i make it by making this area going down to the like this then draw your marginal edges your cingulum and the incisor edge so we finished the drawing of the axillary lateral incisor here the geometric outline is oval or rounded 